Hey guys, it's me, Saren, back to another video. It's our second to last hidden figure, and today's hidden figure is AZ Taylor Morton, who served as treasurer of the United States during the Carter administration from 1977 to 1981. She is the only African American to hold that office, and her signature was printed on U.S. currency during her tenure, making her the only African American woman to have her signature printed on United States currency. Now, before I even get into this video, I'm sure you guys are probably thinking, oh, this video looks pretty short. That is because there is barely any information out there about this woman, AZ Taylor Morton. Like I did like did like my normal, like regular research, and there is not very much information out there about her, which just seems absurd considering the fact that she served as the treasurer of the United States and she is the only African American to hold that office. Like as I continue to say throughout this whole series, we should be learning about this woman in school. There should be like multiple, multiple books written about her. There should be like, you know, whole fucking swaths of curriculum dedicated to her. But there is very little information about her out there because there has been this erasure of black people and especially black women from history, hence hidden figures. So, A.Z. Taylor Morton, born February 1st, 1936. Uh, again, served as treasurer of the United States during the Carter administration from September 12, 1977 to January 20, 1981. She was born to Fleta H Hazel Taylor, who was deaf and mute, on February 1, 1936 in the small community of St. John Colony of Dale, Texas. Taylor did not know her father and was raised by her maternal grandparents on a small farm. During her adolescence, Taylor worked in the cotton fields, and although she was not blind, deaf, or or an orphan. She attended the Texas Blind, Deaf, and Orphan School during her high school years because there was no high school for African Americans in Dale. She graduated at the top of her class at age 16. In 1952, Taylor enrolled in Houston Tillotson, I hope I'm saying that right, Tillotson University, an all-black college in Austin, Texas. Four years later, she graduated cum laude with a Bachelor of Science degree in commercial education. Taylor then attempted to enroll in the University of Texas graduate program but was denied admission on the grounds that she had insufficient undergraduate courses. Because of the state's segregationist policy barring the enrollment of blacks in undergraduate programs, she was not able to complete the admissions requirements. And you know what that makes me think of? The movie Hidden Figures, where Janelle Monet's character, who I can't think of her name right now, which is awful, but where her character, you know, she's trying to become the engineer and she's told well to become an engineer you have to take these classes she's like i can't take the classes because the classes are only offered at the high school and the high school is segregated it's for white people only so like i can't like i can't like i literally can't like i want to be an engineer and i'm smart enough to be an engineer and my mentor keeps telling me i should be an engineer but like there's like, like literally legal barriers to like me doing what i need to do like it's not that the will is not there the determination the intelligence like there's physical legal barriers just because i'm black just and just especially because i'm a black woman right that is what we have to go go through Taylor instead took a job as a teacher in a state-sponsored school for delinquent girls. She held that position for a year and then was hired as Houston Tillotson's assistant to the president. She remained there for a few months until she was hired to work at the Texas AFL-CIO state headquarters in Austin. In 1961, she was invited by President John F. Kennedy to work for the Committee on Equal Employment Opportunity, and she remained with that committee for 20 years, filling various positions. She married James what is this? She married James Homer Morton in 1965. In 1977, Morton accepted President Jimmy Carter's invitation to serve as the 36th Treasurer of the United States. She held the post from September 12, 1977 until January 20, 1981. In addition, she was a member of the American delegation to Rome, Italy for the enthronement of Pope John Paul II in 1978. She was the chair of the People to People mission to the Soviet Union and China in 1986, and she was an election observer for presidential elections in Haiti, Senegal, and the Dominican Republic. She also was a representative to the first African, African American conference held in Africa. After returning to Austin, Morton served on the Austin Housing Authority Board of Commissioners from 1999 to 2001. In honor of her service, the HACA created the AZ Morton Scholarship Fund for low-income students at Houston Tillotson. AZ Taylor 
Michelle Morton experienced a stroke at her home in Austin, Texas on December 6, 2003, and she died from she died the following day from complications. Uh, she is survived by her two daughters, AZ Taylor Morton. Oh, she was a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha, AKAs. AKAs. Um, is there anything else? Yep. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? She was passionate about public service and the need to give back to the community, sitting she had the will to succeed no matter the task while remaining humble. Appointed to the Office of Treasurer of the United States by President Carter in 1977, the distinction of being the only black woman, the only black person, the only African American as well as the only black woman to hold that post, uh, 36th Treasurer of the United States. So I have one quote, which I know you guys will take with a grain of salt, but a problem not worth praying about is not worth worrying about. AZ Taylor Morton. This is a super quick video because there is barely information on this woman. Uh, please click links in the description box. I'm going to try and see if I can find some books on her, but like there's just hardly anything, which sucks. Like how is that possible, right? Like how is that possible? So um, uh, there will be links in the description box though if you guys want to read more about her. AZ Taylor Morton, a hidden figure, U.S. Treasurer, the only black woman to have her signature on U.S. currency and the only black person to serve as U.S. treasurer, a hidden figure. See you guys tomorrow, our last day of hidden figures. You guys probably guess who it's going to be. We'll see if you guys can guess. Guess in the comments. Peace.